Okay, here is my Blade 400. It's kind of my beater helicopter. It's been a, a, a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy this little helicopter. I wouldn't mind having a couple more just as spares, you know, to bang around. It um, flies really well. I kind of like the, the head design uh, with these mixing arms on the blade grips. Um, I kind of like the way it flies. I came very close to swapping out the head for a T-Rex. Yeah, but I, I decided, changed my mind and decided I'm going to keep this head um, like this because I like the way it flies. It's got the stock 420 motor, stock, uh, I think it's a 25 amp speed controller. I've upgraded it, if you want to call it upgrading, with these Tower Pro 9 gram servos. Um, it's not much of an upgrade, but it is at the same time. Those were three bucks a piece. And, uh, they're 10 times more durable than the E-Flight servos that came in this kit. So, uh, I like them. They're cheap. Uh, I've got a new gyro. Well, Hobby King HK401 clone gyro, the HK401B. And I've got a GWS full-size servo, uh, kind of a 9257 clone-ish, but it's, uh, it's not digital. It's an analog servo. I've also got these metal blade grips on here, which I actually just stripped one out, so I'm going to re be replacing them. Unfortunately, um, I had the opportunity to buy these again. These were like 30 bucks, or just buy the original plastic ones for $5.99. And I've never flown the plastic ones on here. I bought this second hand and had these on it already. So I'm going to try the plastic ones, and uh, if, they, if they work out, I'll just use those uh, for this helicopter. Like I said, everything else is beater and cheap, and uh, it's cheap to fix. I've, got, I've gone through so many canopies now, it's not even funny. Um, so yeah, anyway, I had a little incident with this and kind of dumped it over, so i got to replace the feathering shaft, the tail rotor shaft, main shaft, you know, basic kinds of things. And while I'm doing that... I figured I would install a new tail electronic system. I've got this Asan MEMS gyro. It's a GA250 MEMS gyro. Very tiny little gyro. Let's see. This is what it looks like right here compared to the Hobby King 401. It's a tiny, tiny little gyro. So I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see how this uh, little gyro works up it's cheap it's like 10 bucks or so for this little gyro the only drawback is it does not work with analog servos so i can't use this servo which is fine so i picked up this emax s9257 which is a digital servo it's a uh, 2.5 kilograms per centimeter uh, the speed is a 60 degree 0 0.05 so it's a pretty quick servo uh, 20 grams and yes, yeah, so I'll mount that with the MEMS gyro and I think that paid that I paid $15 for the servo so for 25 bucks we'll see you know I'll have a tail electronic system here and we'll see what it does uh, if it works I got a couple of the gyros and I'll put them on a couple of my other helicopters and replace some of these Hobby King ones or the um, X-Heli uh, GY48Vs that I have which are you know okay but once you start like flying backwards, which I'm just learning how to do, uh, some of those little gyros are not that great. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this together and uh, see how this cheap tail electronic system works out later.